Hey up doggos, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be returning to form. The background is different. First video filmed within the cabin. DDG season two is finally here. Now don't worry, this background isn't going to be staying blank forever. Uh, there is going to be things added to it. I'm trying to get like a big neon here to promote the second channel. The big CR, the coyote racing one. I think that would look hella pog. So, as I say, season two of DDG is here. I've missed you guys. I've been looking forward to getting back to work quite a bit. Hang on, quite a bit. I've, I've got to do editing before every time I clap, you know, because apparently that's comedy on YouTube for some reason. But... It's good to be back, guys, and I've missed you all. So, let's get started. We're playing Headhunter. Headhunter was a Dreamcast game back in the day that I used to play a heck of a lot. I never completed it, though, ever, because there's a sequence in the game where you need to match colours, and I was playing this game on a black and white television. <laughs> ABC BS News. <laughs> They predicted the future. So, for a game that came out in 1999, this has actually got quite a lot of production value. Hang on, was it 1999? Hold on. Oh, never mind. November 16th, 2001. I should probably know the facts of the games that I really like. Every school kid knows the value of life, Kate. Um, you didn't predict the future that well, I'm afraid. The government licensed the technology from the Biotech Corporation. <laughs> that design has not aged particularly well. Include thought monitoring and reconstruction, <laughs> limiting the public This accent is terrible. It's like an American's idea of what a German accent would be. This is like 100% Black Mirror before Black Mirror was Black Mirror. That entire cutscene was 10 minutes. That entire cutscene was 10 minutes. And now we can start the game. So somehow his head looks like it's been four by three stretched. <laughs> new game. Yeah, why not? We'll do the training missions. Headhunter techniques for new recruits. Jack Wade has looked better in my memories. This I'm not even aiming for you. This is a locking system. You suck at aiming. There we go. Oh my goodness, I'm dead. That was literally the- <laughs> Well, thank you for watching this video. Good night, everybody. Neural resonance 120 and rising. Subject why did he- why did he look like he had baby hands? He was locked down and yet they still had time to hairspray his fringe. If I just shimmy away. Oh, no, my health is going down. Why is my health going down? Have I done something wrong? I've got to say that the controls, even for today, hold up. They're, they're actually quite solid. I mean, the aiming is kind of stupid. You have to shoot really slow, but so far it's, you know, it's holding up. It's holding up. <gasps> There's two of them! I, why is the glow, like, going off the board and not actually following the shape of the letters? That's just a ring! Sure, the hairspray is holding my fringe? Yep, time to go. Mate, you're running with your gun in your hand. That's not safe. So we're in the hospital now. Th they still hairsprayed his <laughs> his fringe. They still have time for that. Who are you? Please, I can't remember. I can't even remember what a Jeff nurse Wade. is. Evidence of some advanced surgery. Surgery? What surgery? Suggested therapy controlled neural rehab. Lady, why are you just being so ig ignorant and like ignoring this poor man? He's clearly not like remembering anything. The least you can do is just talk to him. He's asking questions. In the Headhunter League, however, Hank Redwood bringing in. Why are the characters so wide? They're so wide. Like every single one of them. Man, that you neck. Going. You've woken up with quite a few enemies. Well, I know must. <laughs> What is that face, man? Come on. Would you guys be surprised if I uh, if I told you that I've actually been to a place like this? Angela Stern. You know my name. And your TV. neck. It's like ten feet off her shoulders. Two million on delivery of Fulci. What about in advance? That'll get you. Well, in today's money, that'll get you about maybe two Starbucks cup of coffees. Come pay me a visit. Big busty babes. Daddy's ACN stuff could help jog your memory. I do hope when you say daddy, you actually mean your father. X must. Power drink. Contains no natural ingredients. I mean, fair play, it's being honest. Hair is still intact. What has happened to your forehead? Those lifeless eyes.
I'm not gonna lie, that's actually freaking me out. <laughs> that's David Coulthard. They've actually got real Formula One photos in here. These are actually really good pictures. Girl likes her cars. I'm impressed. Jack, you gotta stop working out. We're on the job here. Come on. Meanwhile, he's just jamming to S Club 7. Here. What happened to her character? Why does her hair look like pasta and her face is just lifeless? Before you go, I have something to show you down in the garage. North District. <gasps> oh, that wasn't luck, that was just pure skill. So we've got to go to Layla so we can get our ma license to go and kill people. Judy Dench looks terrible. To your license if merited by your performance in the field. In the unlikely event that you're successful, the VR terminal- What is it with everybody being such an armhole in this universe? The nurses? The other headhunters? This chick? Please do not tell me where they have been. Nail varnish. There. That was a good save. Nope. Move! I don't like repeating myself. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. I like peeing myself. VR missions. Wow. There we go. That's a bit better. Yep. There we go. Right, okay, that's all of the record. That's cool. You could easily Photoshop that image into something way worse. Anything else? Ask anyone but me. She really hates her job. Wade, good to see you back in the game. Ah, ah, no, his name, his first name isn't Chief, it's Mike. Oh no. You know, you're, you're, you're on this really high stress case to try and get this super criminal, but you gotta stop to watch the news. AC Gotta stop to watch the news. Arms, if they were to remake this like game today and they would redo the news scenes, they'd have to get Will Ferrell news, to uh, be one of the anchors. Gun enthusiasts got to try out the new Smith & Easton Stimulator Automatic with enhanced sound effects, recoil, and explosive impact. Enhanced sound effects on a gun? You mean like, bang? I certainly keep a stimulator by my bed, Bill. <laughs> yeah, we got our first double entendre. Great. The stuff that you don't pick up on when you're a kid. I'll be keeping my stimulator by my bed. Right, okay, so now we've got to head to this gas station while this epic music plays. Yes. I must say that the, uh, some of the models haven't... They, they've looked better. They, they look great. That guy on the left isn't even wearing sunglasses. Those are just two holes. His head is a completely separate entity to the rest of his body. <gasps> oh, it was like a flipping jack in a box, man. La. I wonder what that means. Jack be looking swole, and this guy be looking stretched. Oh, here we go. Yes, car battery. Like these puzzles weren't particularly difficult, but they did require like a quite a bit of search. Why would you put your own bike in here? Like, surely you've got license plate. They're, they're gonna trace it right back to you, man. My guy's not very smart. Okay. Wonderful. Car wash token. Put put everything back where you found it. There are more people outside. Those bikes are very combustible. Yes. In we go. Mate, what were you doing in there? In this locked room all by yourself. What were you doing in here? Alright, okay. Power unit for the gas station. We unlock this. We get some spare... Well... A flat PNG of some cable, and we fix it. Hell yeah, we're helping criminals, you know, maintain their hideout. You do realize, Jack, that you could have easily climbed up there to get that fire extinguisher right. You didn't have to have me, you know, run you around through this entire convoluted mess. I mean, surely you could have just gotten a stepladder or something like that, instead of having to fix an overloaded power unit. Why do, why do you have me running around doing all this convoluted nonsense, dude? You could have easily jumped. See? Even helping there. Putting out a fire. Oh, mate, you don't look good. Are you okay, mate? Yeah, even unblock it. Like, th this, is, this isn't a cop game. This isn't a violent game. This is just a game about helping, you know, people. 
He's just doing, you know, the regular chores around this petrol station that, you know, no one seems to be bothered to do. I mean, look at this guy. You know, he's, he's clearly slipped and he's, he's spilt his strawberry daiquiri over him. And he's dropped a keycard. He gained weight between the cutscenes. He 100% gained weight. Whoa, big man with an EMP gun. I got your number, Headhunter. They told me about you. Maybe you can share sometime. You won't live long enough. Why didn't you just kill him then? Why didn't you just shoot him? The ba See, the bad guys in this aren't exactly smart either. Smack that child if he's just not listening. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there for now. We're going to continue this in another video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And it is good to be back, everybody. I am clapping heck of a lot. This is comedy, apparently. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button. It would help me out a lot. And if you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button with the notification bell? Guys, did you know that half the people watching this video are not subscribed? I don't actually know that, but I'm just going to say it anyway. That's what YouTubers do now, isn't it? Yeah, whatever. Leave, comment, subscribe, like, whatever. Do the whole thing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Season 2 of DDG, everybody. I'm back. Oh, I ain't here for the money. For you